dealing with the job turkey. You know what I'm saying? It's time for this person to stand up, be a man, deal with whatever they're feeling, you know, express their emotions, stop overthinking, stop always being in these back and forth wayward um, situations to where it's sabotaging everything that they own. This person, you know, if they're committed to a job or whatever, what have you, what not, um, this person like could be just committed to their job and they wanted to just, you know, mess with a lot of different people. And, you know, they have caught feelings for you because you were one of the people that told this person no. This person is always being able to do what they want to do. They have always been committal to going from one person to the other. And at the age that they are, you wouldn't think that they would be operating as such. You would think that they would be operating as a mature man. So this person is using other people to like try to trigger you. And they're seeing someone that they could be seeing that could be for a month or two or something of that nature that they were only meeting up with or clicking up with on the weekend or what have you, what not, whatever. But it's going to be hella, hella hard for them to get rid of this person. This person know that they really care for you more than they put on. And they're trying to use other people to cover up the feelings. And what it's doing is, it's creating a bigger mess for them. Because now, you know, you don't trust them. You know, you may just walk away completely. You may not ever speak to this person anymore. You you know, you may not ever speak to this person anymore. And um, it's just going to be a sad little situation. Instead of them standing up, being a man, you know, it's not that, you know what I'm saying, you're the divine one. Um, you don't need to lower your standards. You don't need to waste your time on someone that isn't going to be expressive, telling the truth, holding back because they're a cheater or they're a master manipulator or they go from partner to partner to see what they can get out of these partners or, you know, and then, you know, may end up with something that they don't want to get out of these partners. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're dealing with a person or whatever that thought that they could just be master manipulated and do all this stuff, but they ran into the right one and you're not buying into it. You're a person that have told them no, you don't kiss their butt, but they are trying to trigger you. And I have been advised to let you know that you need to cut this person off. Don't engage in what they got going on. Act as though you don't even see it. Act as though, you know, this person don't exist. If you ignore them completely, act as if you don't even see what you do see. Just act, just cut it all out. Cut it all out. So, because if this person wanted to play the game or whatever and wanted to be like this instead of coming to you like a man and maybe knocking on your door and, you know, calling you out, you know, for a minute and asking, you know, or asking you what's up with you and if you are in a relationship or if you are really seeing someone, this person is un illegitimate. Like everything they're doing about this type connection and this situation that's going on to do with you and them is all going wrong. It's going all wrong because for one, this person isn't even, you know, trying to let you know that they love you as much as they do. They want, they choose to go and pick up another person and try to use that person as a pawn. It's not that this person want this person or anything like that, but they're probably going to end up stuck with that person because I am being advised for you. It's just a setup. It's a trap. Not, you know, you know, at first, you know, they wanted, they wanted you to do all this stuff for them. Yada, yada, yada. They're over here with this person, sleeping with this person and them and this person isn't doing anything but sexing and this person don't really have that much to offer them either and you know this you know this person really is intimidated think that they don't add up to the plate thinking instead of them asking questions 
what's going on in your life. What are you doing? You know, um, what, you know, what, where you're at. And, you know, instead of them being a man and asking you and, and dealing with the situation from there, they care to not ask you anything, just assume assumptions and just go with the flow and do whatever they want to do and try to, you know, dummy these feelings down. So right now, this person could be having a person that they're taking over there, you know, or have it at their house or whatever. They It's something they want you to see and they want it to trigger you. They want you to be triggered. They want you because you could have been blocked. This person got a new number, no contact on their asses, busted the move that they be moving, the ghost move and all of this. No, you just can't have it like you want. So if you choose to take them feelings and do whatever and use another person to try to cover up what you feel for me and dig a deeper hole for yourself, then so be it. Let them do that. OK, but I'm being advised for you to just focus on yourself. Don't play into it. It's a game. It's another narcissistic move or something of that nature. And God is demanding these people to heal. Something is going to happen over there about time I'm giving you to like the beginning of the summer or the ending of the summer. <laughs> something is going to, you're going to hear something about this person that, oh, I don't know. That probably don't be good. I don't know. But I am advising you to not engage in it anymore. Um, God wants you to focus on more stuff to do with your stability, your creativity. Nurture your, your work. Nurture yourself more. Nurture exercising and meditating and being out in the sun, walking the lake. Just, you know, pray and meditate and ask God to shield you, cover you, and move you forward. And for you not to even engage in low vibrational situations. Because, again, I state this could be someone's masculine or it may not be. You could be dealing with a person that is narcissistic or karmic and they're dealing with the karmic as well. And you're just an innocent bystander. That's all I've really been getting. Like a lot of situations that have occurred in these divine ones' lives, we put ourselves in these type situations because, you know, once after you see the red flags and you know what's going on or whatever, you know, remove your energy, remove your whole self. Don't be a part of it. I mean, we have um, free will to engage or not or to accept or not accept. If a person knows that you're going to sit up there and accept them and two and three and four or five third parties and you continue to accept it, then they're never going to change. So, you know, it's time for you to pull back your energy and keep moving forward and it was a lesson learned um you know let them have that ride on that roller coaster because you go ahead and get off get off okay get off the ferris wheel enough with that already you already dealt with that for a little bit you know you stay longer than you were supposed to when you seen right off or whatever what this person was about and they wasn't coming clean and being truthful and trying to you know what i'm saying when you seen that it was for you to move on you got a person that's not being legitimate with you you're catching them in all these different little acts and actions and doing all this un you know low vibrational stuff or whatever and you knowing it's not right is you need to move 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 it it's time to move it let them have that don't entertain it don't be exposed to it don't even put your good energy and spirit don't like no 
I mean, let them people have whatever they feel that they're having over their sexual intercourse, money situations, whatever, whatever, however. Let them have it or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with, you know, you're not a karmic, you know, um, you just didn't walk into a type situation where you were dealing with a low vibrational person that, you know, you thought this person looked real good. I'm telling y'all, y'all have to be on the hunt and be detecting these things. It's time for you to look out for you and get on it. Divine film, you got a lot of great things coming for you. A lot of movements, a lot of things that you can put out, a lot of creativity, of being gifted with a lot of stuff. Why wary with Nothing, because quite naturally, a person trying to hurt you by doing stuff that's ugly, they don't love you. They're just a hurt, lost person that's trying to hurt someone else. Hurt people, hurt people. So that's no excuse. I went and did this because I thought this. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to play the game. We're not going to play the game. We're going to remove ourselves, okay, Divine Femme? You know better, so move better. That's all I have for you guys. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Bye.